mistaken or uh, he's often wrongly portrayed as just a stylistic link between Louis Armstrong and Dizzy Gillespie but I think that does all the trumpet players a disservice because Roy had his own style and he was very creative and he was very competitive and he was a, a more than just a link between Louis Armstrong and Dizzy Gillespie Chronologically, he fits right in that period, but he's more than just that. He's a great, great trumpet player, a good guy. When I was young, my, my idol was Dizzy Gillespie. Um, but now that I'm older, I, my, my palate has broadened. So I could, I could just sit here and start naming you heroes of mine that, that I really like to listen to. Sorry, with you know Louis Armstrong and Roy Eldridge and Dizzy, and then I could say, okay, Big Spider back, Jabbo Smith, Rex Stewart, Cootie Williams, Sweets Edison, Clark Terry, Buck Clayton, Snooky Young. Uh, I could go on and on. Fast Navarro, Clifford Brown, Kenny Dorham, Red Rodney, Bill Benny Harris. Uh, did I say Kenny Dorham? Yeah, uh, Kenny Dorham. Donald Byrd, Freddie Hubbard, Lee Morgan, Book a Little. I mean, they, and that's just the trumpet players. You know, I could do James P. Johnson and Count Basie and Duke Ellington and Willie the Lion Smith and Fats Waller and all those piano players. Bill Evans, Oscar Peterson, Art Tatum, Dotto Moroni, who I play with here. You know, I can, I can name you a bunch, bunch, of, bunch of musicians. And that's just the piano players, and that's not all of them. McCoy Tyner, Herbie Hancock, they're all my heroes. Or, or if I said sheroes, then it's feminine. And then I could talk about Ella Fitzgerald, and Billie Holiday, and, and Dinah Washington, and Bessie Smith, and Mary Lou Williams, who's a great pianist and composer, and Jerry Allen, Rini Rossness, who played with my band sometimes. How many do you want? If, if I were to say one, you know, Dizzy would be the main one. But my, my main hero now is my eight-month-old son, Tyler, who came out two months early and he scared all the, all, the, all the doctors because he wasn't ready to come out. So, but now he's eight months and he's my hero. My wife is my hero. Well, hopefully, some 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 good music. I think that's the, the I think that's the first thing, and then I like to talk to the people, so make sure they have a good time. I like to make sure that the people have a good time, and that's that's one of the things that I learned from Dizzy, is when you when you are playing on stage, you know, you can be serious about the music, but have a good time too. A more beautiful setting, I can't imagine on the lake is absolutely gorgeous and last night I had really really good gelato I had mango banana coconut melone fragola it was good it was really good I was I was very surprised because there are many places where you get bad gelato this was really good the artisanal, mm -hmm, yeah, that's very good. And as far as the the performances, there's a lot going on. But I heard a I heard a, a group from the university. You know, there was a female singer and the flute player, female flute player, and the guys in the rhythm. It sounded very good. It sounded very good. I was doing an interview for the radio and while they were playing, so I heard them quite a bit. And it was it was very nice. It's nice to hear young people 
Um, it's nice to hear young people embracing the music. I would have to quote Sigmund Freud. And I would say, Arbeit und Lieben. Work and love. So you have to work really hard to play this music. And, and jazz musicians don't play jazz because they want to make a lot of money. You know, the pop stars are making all the money. So if we wanted to make a lot of money, we wouldn't do jazz, we would do pop. Although there are some jazz musicians that make a very good living. But not like, uh, you know, pop stars. Like Mick Jagger, for example, or whoever's popular now. And then, what I would tell young people is, the love part, you have to have a passion for jazz. And you have to love working hard at it. Otherwise, they should do something else. Not, not jazz, they should do something that they really love. But if you really love it, the mu jazz music can take you places that, where nothing else can take you. In Miles Davis's book, his autobiography, he talks about the first time he heard Dizzy Gillespie and Charlie Parker play. And he said that's the most fun he ever had with his clothes on. An Italian man in Rome and his wife sent him to the grocery store to pick up two large watermelons for a dinner party. So he's walking down the street angry that he has to carry these watermelon. And then an American tourist comes up to him and says, excuse me, can you tell me how to get to the Colosseum? So he said, ah. so he puts one watermelon down on the ground <laughs> and he puts the other watermelon down on the ground and he looks at the American tourist and says, no.